Welcome to Crestron Home Integration with Lutron Radio Raw 2. The approach we take in this video is similar to how we would approach Crestron Home Integration with Lutron Homeworks QSX and Raw 2 Select. You will need to start with a commissioned and functioning Crestron Home system as well as a programmed and functioning Lutron system. At a minimum, all Lutron keypads should be programmed with either scenes for lighting and shading or individual lighting and shading loads. Lutron virtual keypads can be controlled as well. Crestron Home will provide seamless control of Lutron scenes with virtual button presses as well as individual lighting and shading loads. Both Crestron and Lutron processors must be on the same network and a Lutron Integration Telnet login must be created. Let's start by testing the Lutron Radio RAW 2 system, which consists of a Pico remote, table lamp dimmer, and two wireless triathlon honeycomb shades. The middle button turns on the light to 50%, while the raised lower buttons change the lighting intensity. The top button opens the shades and the bottom button closes the shades. There is a Lutron virtual keypad on the system which provides additional functionality and will be the main focus of our integration. Let's take a look inside the RAW 2 inclusive program to verify programming and integration settings. As you can see, the programming of the Pico remote reflects the demonstration moments ago. The virtual keypad has been programmed as follows. First button, shades 100% open. Second button, shades at 50%. Third button, shades at 0% closed. Fourth button, lights 100% on. Fifth button, lights at 50%. Sixth button, lights at 0% off. Seventh button, seen with lights and shades both at 50%. Here's a close-up of the virtual keypad. Entering the Lutron integration settings, here is the Telnet login that has been created to allow communication between the systems. Now let's open the Crestron Home Setup app and proceed with our integration. Click to connect to the desired system. When the X panel loads, we are ready to proceed. Click on Pair Devices. Then click on Manage Gateways. The scan will be taking place in real time in order to give you a realistic feel for the process. We have successfully scanned and identified the Lutron processor on the network and will now add it to our Crestron home system. We will enter a descriptive name as well as the username and password of the Telnet login previously configured during Lutron programming. If you entered the incorrect username and password and are unable to add the gateway, double check the integration or Telnet login information in the Lutron program.
To try again, click on the settings wheel for the Lutron Gateway processor. Now that we have successfully connected the two systems, it's time to add the Lutron lighting and shading loads to Crestron Home. It's important to have used the same room names in both system configurations. Here we will assign all Lutron living room devices to the Crestron Home living room. Next, we'll click on Customize and Schedule, and then Customize Actions and Events in order to create some touchscreen or iPad accessible whole house quick actions which can activate any Lutron keypad buttons. Lutron Shades Down will close the shades and leave the lights unaffected based on the programming of button 3 on the virtual keypad. This Crestron Home Quick Action will activate a scene which virtually presses the Lutron Virtual Keypad button. Lutron 50% will take both shades and lights to 50% based on the programming of button 7 on the Virtual Keypad. Lutron Shades Up will open the shades and leave the lights unaffected based on the programming of button 1 on the virtual keypad. Once again, click on Customize and Schedule, and then Customize Actions and Events. Now we will configure a shade control button on the existing Horizon keypad. We select the desired keypad button. The button mode in this case is Shade Load. Button behavior is Open, Raise, Close, Lower. And finally we select the corresponding shades. Let's demonstrate what we have just configured by pressing the Shades button on the Horizon keypad. Now we will demonstrate touchscreen control of the Lutron lights and shades. I've just pressed the Shades Up button. To stop the shades, I will press the same button again. Now I'll press the Shades Down button. Pressing the Lutron 50% button will activate a scene with lights and shades both at 50%. Next, we will press the Rooms button and select Living Room to control individual lighting and shading loads, as well as room-specific quick actions. You will notice there is no difference between individual control of lights or shades based on manufacturer. Here we press the Shades Up Quick Action.
we can use the individual shade controls to stop the shades as well as use the momentary raise or lower buttons to make minor adjustments to shade position. We will conclude the demonstration with the Shades Down quick action. This has been the video for Crestron Home Lutron Integration. Thank you for watching.